Hi, my name's Chris. I'm an intern in the Applications Engineering Department at National Instruments UK. I'm going to talk to you today about my project, which was the MyFilter design. This project aims to show how National Instruments hardware and software can be used to design, prototype, and finally test a working circuit. So the hardware that I've used is the National Instruments MyDAC, which is a product aimed at academia so that students can quickly and easily set up tests on the go. So I'm going to talk you through the two main softwares that I've used in the project and show you how to build the circuit. National Instruments Multisim is a powerful circuit design software. We can quickly build up circuits by right clicking and placing components onto the circuit diagram. We can then link these components together by clicking on the terminals and then clicking on the terminals of another component. In this case we're building a simple RC filter circuit. We can simulate the signal by clicking the play button at the top, but in this case we're going to use the Bode plotter instrument to look at the gain and phase characteristics of our filter circuit. We use the Bode plotter by wiring the grounds together, wiring the input to the source of our signal and wiring the output to the output of our filter circuit. We can now see that the gain changes over frequency, as expected. We can also see that the phase changes over frequency, as expected. We can use the bow plotter to analyse more sophisticated circuits like this Butterworth filter. Here we can see the gain change over frequency. First we'll add the IC. We can then add a feedback loop around the IC, followed by signal connections. These will allow us to input and output to the circuit. We should ensure that we ground the circuit correctly, as this will avoid any incorrect signals being read. Finally, we'll, to complete the circuit, we will add resistors and capacitors, which will determine our cutoff frequency. We can then plug the circuit board into the MIDAC. This is a virtual instrument, or VI, in National Instruments LabVIEW. This instrument is designed to plot the gain and phase for any filter circuit that we connect via the MIDAC. To use the VI, we must first configure it. So we will choose our hardware, which is device 2, which is the MIDAC. We must then decide whether this is low pass or high pass. I've actually designed a low pass filter, so I'll leave it where it is. And then we must set the resolution. I'm going to use a resolution of 5 as this should provide a quite a quick output. If I then run the VI, it will take a couple of seconds to populate as it must perform a frequency sweep. But here we can see an almost perfect representation of what our filter should look like. National Instruments LabVIEW is a graphical programming language. Here we can see all the code necessary to display that gain and phase information on our front panel and then to do the analysis on it which is performed afterwards. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to know more about the project or have a go yourself you can download the user manual from the same page.